Hey, hello everyone. Are you tired of hearing crickets when it comes to generating leads for your business? You're putting in the work. Maybe you've tried ads, you're posting on social media, and the leads just aren't rolling into you. I know it's super frustrating, right? I'm so glad that you're here in the Idea Lab. And in this little mini training, I'm going to show you a way to grow your leads organically without spending a dime on ads and in a way that feels authentic to you. Today, we're going to dive into how you can become a lead magnet through thought leadership, networking, and most of all, referrals. Sounds interesting, right? Stick with me till the end. Here's the thing. If you're struggling to attract the right clients, it's not because you lack effort. It's often about not being seen as the go-to person in your industry. But don't worry. We're going to change all of that, not only with this community, but with the things I'm going to show you within these mini trainings that are below and in the community as a whole. These are the things that I have done for myself that are currently still working in the marketplace today. And so whether you're just starting out or you feel like you've hit a plateau, grab a notepad because we're going to be walking through those proven strategies for organic growth and that'll have those leads coming in naturally. And if you're not quite at the 100K mark yet in your business, I'm going to introduce you to my Path to 100K course designed to get you on track and fast track the journey to success. Those trainings were part of a two-year mastermind that I held, and each one of the trainings were between 60 and 90 minutes. And I'm re-recording them all for you to be eight to 10 minute actionable bite-sized videos, just like this one, that will move you forward. And the only way to get that course is to message me and tell me you need it, and I will unlock it for you. All right, so let's talk about what it's really like when you're struggling to find enough leads for your business. You've been hustling, you're trying every marketing tactic, you're subscribing to stuff you don't need, and you've spent hours tweaking your website. Maybe you're running ads, maybe you're posting on every social media platform possible, and nothing seems to get people to message you, or even your DMs are being ignored because now they're seen as marketing tactics. So I get it. When you feel like you're spinning your wheels, things don't convert. This is an energy thing. We'll talk more about that in later videos. But it really feels like you're running uphill with a 50-pound backpack. And I've done that in a Spartan race. And trust me, it's no fun. So here's what most people don't realize. The struggle isn't usually about your effort or your skills. I'm going to say that again. The struggle isn't about your effort or your skills. It's often about your visibility and your credibility. If people don't see you as the go-to expert in your field, they won't come knocking at your door. And listen, clients don't knock at your door anyway. Uh, in 15, 16 years of being a coach, I've had one person knock on my front door that became a client. So it's definitely not enough to sustain you. You could have the best service or product, but without that trust and recognition, leads remain scarce. The problem is, from what I've seen, is most entrepreneurs are focusing on short-term quick fix methods like paid ads, aggressive email campaigns, cold outreach. Yes, I used to do that. Once I messaged 900 people in a month. And let me tell you, that overlooked the long game in building relationships and organic growth. And let's be honest, those tactics 
can work sometimes on a mass, mass scale. Message a thousand people might end up with one client, but who wants to message a thousand people? Not this girl. Um, and they don't build that lasting connection with and trust with your audience, right? You need to have that consistent, authentic way to attract high quality leads that aligns with your values, not my values or some other coach or some opt-in. So let's talk about burnout for a second. Because you're overwhelmed, because you're running out of steam, because your vibe is lower because of that, you feel like you're constantly chasing new people. I get it. It's not sustainable. And we haven't even touched on the frustration of attracting the wrong type of clients, the ones that don't quite fit your vision and make you question why you started this journey in the first place. If this sounds like you, it's time to shift gears. And I'm so glad that you've decided to join the Idea Lab 3.0 because here's the truth. You don't need a fancy hustle. You don't need a fancy marketing budget. What you need is strategic, organic approach to lead gen. One that focuses on your thought leadership, your networking, and building that referral system and trusted partners. This is not about more work. It's about smarter work, building a brand people trust. And that's exactly what we're diving into today, how to position yourself as that expert. And I'm not going to give you some details on that, don't worry. But you want to do this in a way that feels natural to you, not my way, right? It's aligned with who you are. This is really important because that keeps your vibe high and people wanting to talk to you. And I talked to my coach yesterday and he said something really interesting about leaving people more energized than before you met with them. I love that. I love getting people excited about their business. And what does that look like for you? All right. So we know the problem. We know that it's lack of people reaching out to you. So let's talk a little bit about how to solve that. Thought leadership, number one. Becoming the thought leader is all about positioning yourself as an authority in your niche. This means you're the go-to expert within your group of people. Leads naturally come to you for questions. There's no more chasing. They're drawn to your expertise and insight. Ooh, I love that. So how do you start building? It's simpler than you think. Start by sharing your knowledge and unique perspectives. Write articles, post on social media, create short videos, anything that showcases your expertise. It's not bragging if it's true. But here's the key. Be genuine. Be real. I don't edit my videos. So if I screw this video up and I say something wrong, I just fix it in the moment. I'm not spending money on editing videos that don't need to be edited, correct? Yes, because when you are your authentic self, people connect with that in a different way. So authenticity, it's used a lot nowadays, but it's really what sets thought leaders apart. And please, don't ever call yourself a thought leader. Just go be one. People connect with the real you. And the ones that don't like you, they're not meant to be there anyway. Think about it. What's more memorable? Someone who shares polished, generic advice, maybe even AI videos that are generated, and it's not even them? looks like them, but it's not even them, or someone who shows up like their authentic self, telling relatable stories, offering real solutions. Thought leadership is about building trust and establishing a deeper connection with your audience, even if that's one person at a time. Another powerful way to build thought leadership is by engaging in industry conversations. That could be commenting on posts 
joining relevant groups, attending webinars where your peers are. And don't be afraid to voice your opinion and be a little polarizing. Being visible and vocal in your field creates awareness and builds trust over time, especially if you stick in those opinions. People start to recognize your name and associate it with expertise. Talk about you in rooms you are not in. It's one of the reasons when someone called me STK about 10 years ago, I stuck with it, made it part of my business logo because it was memorable. And that leads to more opportunities, more people talking about you in rooms you're not in. And if you're not quite hitting that 100K mark yet, remember, message me for the path to 100K course. I'm just now recording all of those videos. So you can come along with me as I record those eight to 10 minute videos in that course. And you can do the homework, do the action steps, one video a day, for about 60 days, and I guarantee you, you will be with and all my other clients who are making well over 100K, follow the steps, watch the videos, and then do the action step below the video. You're gonna love it. Now, networking and referrals. Let's talk about the hidden gem. See, I messed up there, and I don't care. The hidden gem, of organic growth. That's networking and referrals. Building genuine relationships with other entrepreneurs is one of the most effective ways to grow your business. Think of it this way. Networking isn't about collecting business cards. I got a pile of them on my desk. They don't mean anything. It is about building a community of supporters and super fans who actively refer clients to you. It's like having your own word of mouth marketing machine. It's one of the best strategies is creating or joining one of the referral pods I'm putting together. It's why I'm doing this. It's why I'm doing this whole entire community is to share with you what has been working for me for the past two years. It's a group of 10 entrepreneurs who share the same drive as you, the same values, and you support each other by actively referring clients. But it's not BNI. You don't have to refer to that group. It's think of it like as you get to know your pod, it will be like a mini marketing team, but better because these referrals come with trust and credibility, not because someone has to or feels obligated to refer to you. Somebody who genuinely, genuinely believes in what you do, it's a game changer. I can talk about my referral partners. I know their programs. I know their values. And when I talk about them, people automatically want to work with them. And that introduction is pretty much a guaranteed client. Don't you want the same for you? Yeah, I know. I love it. Here's a tip. When you're form forming or joining a referral group, make sure it's with people who share those similar goals, values, and share a complimentary market or ideal client. And most important, that they stay in their lane and they are comfortable referring to people who do something different than they do. And this is where all the benefits come once people really know you. And that's the kind of connections that I wanna foster here in the Idea Lab networking events. And if you're not already involved, go to the calendar tab and check out our upcoming events. Many of the events occur every month, like the networking, the coffee chat, tech lab is coming soon, and so much more. We're gonna have business coaching in the group and as the group goes, we'll, grows, we'll have so many experts coming to deliver amazing content. And don't just limit your networking to these small groups. Be proactive in building relationships at other events, industry events, inviting people to your own events has been key for me as well. Show up and share value. All right, ideal clients, let's talk about connecting with them. 
I pick mine and I will reveal in later videos how I do that. It's really fun. But one of the biggest mistakes ideal clients make is trying to serve everyone. So here's the tough love. That leads to attracting clients who drain your energy. They don't align with your vision. So get laser focused on who you serve and what you want. What do they value? What specific challenges are they facing? Psychographics, demographics. When you have clarity there, it's easier to create content that speaks directly to them. And when you have a conversation with them, it's easier to connect. Now, here's a fun and effective strategy. When you start a podcast or a video series, an interview series, or set up your quick connect calls, any of those things, it's an incredible way to connect with your ideal clients and share valuable insights. So maybe you're not ready to do a podcast. Maybe you're not ready to do an interview series. But you sure as heck are doing quick connect calls, one on one calls to get to know each other. The structure of those calls is really, really important. And there'll be a video on that uh, in the Path to 100K course. But the basics, you always let the other person go first. And if they don't tell you about their ideal client and their offers, they're probably not a pro at this. And that is your chance to show up, describe what you do in one sentence, and then tell them about your ideal client is typically X, Y, and Z. And my offers look like this, and never more than three offers. Ideally a high ticket offer, a medium offer, and a low end offer. And if you follow that formula, and there's some nuance to it, which let me know if you want that training. I'll make sure I get that to you as soon as possible. These conversations actually build a bridge that often turns a quick connect call into somebody leaning in and saying, oh, how do I work with you? And there's nothing better than that. Nothing better than taking a person who is just meeting you or maybe trying to sell you their stuff and turning them into a fan of yours. Not with persuasion, not with being pushy, but showing up as your authentic self and the value that you provide. Now, connections, whether it's podcasts or calls or quick connect, get to know you calls, these things do wonders for building trust. When people feel like they know you, they're more likely to do business with you. So if you're not already using one of those approaches, it's time to start integrating that into your strategy. The leads that come from these efforts, from it, it's much easier to reach out to somebody to be on your podcast or to take part in your interview series, or, you know, just quick connect and see if there's synergy with what we do. That is much easier to do than reaching out to somebody and saying, buy my stuff. So there you have it. They're all the keys to organic growth, thought leadership, networking, referrals, and connecting with your ideal clients. These strategies just aren't quick fixes. They are the routine in your business that you have to be doing all the time. It should be part of your daily routine. It's time to take action. I want you to start small. Choose one of the strategies we discussed today. Maybe it's building your thought leadership, setting up a quick connect call with somebody you admire or somebody you've chosen online that you say, that person would be an amazing client for me. Maybe it's joining a referral group. Maybe it's looking through your Facebook friends and saying, who haven't I talked to in a long time? Better yet, pick up your phone. And if there's somebody in your phone that you have rapport with, you know you could provide value to, and 
you know that they have a problem that you could solve, reach out to them today. That small step of going through your phone connections, I guarantee you make it through to Z, you will talk to at least one new client, at least, if not more. So if you're serious about this journey with me, don't forget to check out the 100K course. If you're not yet making 100K in your business, send me a DM and I will give you access to that course. And I also invite you to check out the calendar tab for the networking events, build those genuine connections. Let me know who you wanna meet here in the community. We're at 37, 38 members right now. I can't wait to see where we are at the end of October. And if you found this helpful today, I encourage you to watch the rest of the videos in this Start Here course. These videos are the common problems that entrepreneurs face and solutions to those problems. And I'm gonna give you a little secret. If you don't have problem solution frameworks for your business, I'm giving you mine right now in these videos. Let me know. And that could be a workshop we do in the future. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to 